Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to hit the subscription button and the notification bell. Now today we speak about the numbers gang as we continue with our segment about the prisons in South Africa. The numbers gang is perhaps the most notorious criminal organization in South Africa. It was founded in the late 1800s when two men fought against inhuman, inhumane conditions within the mines in which they worked. Today, the organization is particularly prevalent in South Africa or in the South African prison system where the numbers gang is divided into three tires, the 26, the 27, and the 28. Now, the lowest rank, the 26, specializes in robbery and smuggling goods into the prison. To join the 27th, a potential must step a guard or warden. The 28th are typically violent sexual offenders who assault other male inmates. Now, there, there is a language that the, the numbers can use. We have the so-called Sabella. The Sabella is something which is unique to the numbers gang in South Africa. The Sabella consists of the words, symbols, and colors that differentiate one from another. Now, the, the complex codes of the numbers gang specify how the gangs should approach each other. And the protocol states that the 26 rule by day and the 28th by night. Now, when a new recruit is to be initiated to the gang, or when the new recruit is to be initiated, the gang will inform the new recruit on gang conditions and policies. These policies play an important role, and if any member ever forgets the policies, the traditions, or history of the gang, they can be severely punished. Now let's get to the language of the numbers gang. The language they use is a result of a diverse community in prisons in South Africa. South Africa has 11 official languages. One needs to understand and never forget that. Which consists of Africans, your English, Ndebele, Northern Sotho, Sotho, Swazi, Tswana, Tsonga, Venda, Kosa, and Zulu. Now, in order for the different cultures to be able to communicate with one another in the gangs, they speak a mix of Africans, English, Hosa, and Zulu. These are the most spoken languages in South Africa. Many of other offenders in prison are able to speak one or more of these languages. Now, during the initiation stage of a new recruit, they must learn the values and history of the numbers gang in their mother tongue and can mix the languages if they like. Now, the mix of the four languages is known as Fanagalo. Now, uh, Fanagalo was developed in the mines in South Africa in the late 1800s. Now, you remember when you dig deep the history of the numbers gang, you will uh, read about the man named Po. Who, who met with uh, the two first gang leaders and sent them to go and buy a bull and the owner of the bull refused to sell to them and then these two uh, leaders or two people who were sent by Paul decided to kill the owner of the bull and took it by force so I don't want to dwell much into the history. We'll talk about the history in another segment. I just want to speak about what, I mean, how the gang operates currently in prisons because the history has a little to do with prisons. Now, the mix of uh, the four languages is known as Fanagalo, as I stated. This was developed as a way of, or as a way for the, black mine workers to communicate with one another and without having to learn all different languages. Uh, we have the, the salute as part of communication. 
each branch of the gangs or the, or the numbers gang has its own salute. Uh, when giving the salute, they will say, this is my sign, my flag, my gun, or my pen. Now, the 26th salute, it consists of a thumb, like this. So that's how the 26th salute. The 27th salute consists of a thumb and an index finger, like the 28th salute consists of the thumb and the first two fingers. This is the most popular one, like this. Or oh, since I'm not a gang member, I'm not a perfect guy. So with the salute of the 28th gang, the members will combine a salutation of which means or oh, which refer, uh, refers to someone's mother's genital let's uh, deal with uh, these three tires of the gangs separately the 26th, the 27th and the, and the 28th the 26th specializes in robbery, smuggling and other monetary crimes they specialize in robbery, smuggling, and other monetary kind. They work as the cleaners in prisons. The crews of the 26 only need to be able to scavenge for food. Members must be, a must be active in their gang's duties. The 26 keeps the prison alive and are responsible for acquiring supplies of money, drugs, cigarettes, and other luxuries. The wealth they bring into the prison system must be shared with the 28th if the 28th are low on resources. Although it is the softer option of the gangs, they do have a history of blood or blood wars and must be or must be must take blood in order to obtain a higher rank. If a member of the 28th becomes to becomes too violent and aggressive he must become a 27 because there is no room for him in the 26 ideology now members of the 26 should not look for blood nor should they seek same-sex relationships now a 26 can at any stage convert to a 27 if he would like to communicate with the camp of the 28s however if a 26 wishes to remain a 27, he must take blood in order to remain a 27. Any inmate who has been raped cannot join the 26. Now, the 26 gang will also not tolerate any member who has sustained head injury in prison unless he takes back his blood by stabbing a ward. Now, let's deal with the structure of the 26 gang. Uh, the structure is broken up into two sections. The, un up, the unarmed privates, known as the number ones, and the officers, known as the number twos. Now, the number one structure of the 26 gang consists of the general, who knows all the laws about the gangs, and in the hierarchy followed by Inspector One, who ensures that all punishable, all punishment is carried out. He issues uniforms to new recruits alongside Captain One. Now they also have Doctor One, who examines new recruits by looking at their eyes, ears, evaluating any head injuries, and thus has the final say if any new recruit is, to, is, is able to join the gang or not. They also have a clerk, the advocate, and a judge. The, the last of the, the first structure is the Captain One. He is the Captain One of blood and has permission to stab others. He will have six stars on his shoulders, usually three on each side. And these are seen in the form of tattoos. The number two structure. We are still dealing with the structure of the 26 hierarchy or gang hierarchy. 
Now, the number two deal with the initiation of the new recruits. They have the fighting general. Uh, the fighting general gives permission to the number ones to arm themselves with weapons. He, he, he will have eight stars tattooed on his shoulder, usually four on each shoulder. And then they have inspector two. The inspector two observes all the, the, the ritual stay beings and ensures that all duties are performed and plays a role in, in the promotion of members. Now, they have Dr. Two. Remember, the first structure consists of Dr. One. And then the second structure is Dr. Two, who examines the new recruits by looking at their eyes, ears, evaluating any head injuries. As I said, that they, do, you, they don't allow an inmate who has any head injury to form part of their gang. So this person will evaluate any head injuries and thus has the final say if any new recruit is able to join the gang. Now they have judge number two. The judge number two sits for any minor cases of the gang members and oversees any sentences passed down. And then the, in, in, in the first structure they have the advocate. Here they have the lawyer who pleads on behalf of the offender. And then they have the scribe. The, 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 the first one is a uh, clerk. This one is the scribe who is a secretary and accountant. And then uh, they have captain two. Remember, the first one is Captain One, who has authority to stab and things like that. So the second structure has Captain Two, who is also known as the wireless operator. He searches for new recruits and memorizes decisions taken at inter-gang meetings. He will have four stars on his shoulders, usually two on each shoulder. And these are seen in the form of also in tattoos. Now, it is important to note that not all aspects are known <laughs> with regards to the functions of each ranking member. This is because of the extreme secrecy of the numbers gang. So, some of this information in order to, to be certain and know exactly what is it that happens in this 26, you must be part of the 26 and grow through the ranks. So, this might be at least maybe 10% of the information because everything that they do the way they pass laws and everything it's done in secret so it's not easy to know everything because uh, this is this is done only by people who are part of the, the gang so only the 26 and those who have grown through the ranks knows exactly what happens in the 26 numbers gang now the 27s there's nothing much about the 27s. They are the men of blood and most violent of the gangs. They are career criminals specializing in violence. Uh, they monitor and enforce the laws and codes of the, the number. They negotiate problems and communicate between the 26 and the 28. It's 26, 27, 28. So 27 is in between the two gangs. Now, if one is a 28 and not a vaping or a wife. One can become a 27 by taking blood and lots of it. They do not allow any same sex relationships in their camp. This is because of the history of the Nongoloza and the Gelegechan. Now, Nongoloza and Gelegechan are the two first guys who were sent to execute their duty by Paul when you read the history of the numbers gang so these guys are the first gang leaders of the 26 and the 28 well we'll get to that now the most secretive of the numbers gang camps and little is known about the structure because as i said you need to be part of them in order to understand it more and you need to grow within the ranks in order to know because one might be part of a certain gang or the 26 but in when you're in the lower ranks you don't know what's going on at the top so one needs to grow only a general understand how the gang operates because in some instances they have to draft new laws 
so you can imagine how serious this thing is now the 28th these are the sexual offenders who have sex or who are raped in the gang they believe in the same sex, sex relationships you remember there is a difference between the 26 and the 28 because of that law because when you read the history uh, there is the law which was writ written in the in cow skin and the law which was written on the rock so there is a theory that the rock fell and they on, they were able to find half of the remaining of, of the rock the other piece went to the river so the, these laws they still they, there are still conflicts as we speak even in prison so these laws are not complete and these gangs uh, have different theories. Uh, the 26 don't believe in same-sex relationships. The 28 do believe because uh, you remember that when you read the history, Paul said to the guys, go to the mines and check if men are sleeping with other men. So they went there and found it. They found out that indeed men are sleeping with other men. So. This led to the division between the groups.